Hey guys, what's up? Now we're here for Adam Shah's world. Today we're going to be talking about the new iPad Mini. So yesterday Apple announced their new iPad Mini and also their new iBook store. The new iPad Mini comes in black slate or white silver. Also comes in Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular. So the screen is 7.87 inches and the actual weight of the device is a shocking 308 grams. So it's really light. The iPad is only 7.2 millimeters thick and is 23% thinner than the iPad. It comes in 16, 32 or 64 gigabytes for both models. I think this was a good idea because I don't think the 8 gigabyte will be able to handle what new apps and everything that new people want. The new iPad mini comes with the new FaceTime camera and also the new iSight HD camera for the back. This includes 1080p video recording, full HD. They've also gone with the new lightning connector, which is featured on Apple's new iPod Touch and iPhone. You've got up to 9 hours of surfing the web and 10 hours of music playing constantly. You also have a 3-axis gyro, an accelerometer and an ambient light sensor. The iPad's display is LED multi-touch with IPS technology. It's 1024 by 768 resolution and fingerprint resistant. So, of course, uh, you, you're touching it, so you're not going to get as many fingerprints as you would like. Personally, I think the new iPad mini looks very nice, and I'm looking forward to uh, playing around with it at the App Store. But I don't think I'm going to buy it. I don't think I'm going to buy it because I don't think there's any need for it. Although, yes, it's a larger screen, and for book readers, because this is competing with the Amazon Kindle and other Android tablets, I think it's, it's good. But if you're like me and you want something to take out that's portable and something to stay at home which is easy to use, then I would go for an iPad or an iPod Touch. The new iPad mini isn't really either in any of those categories. Yeah, sure it's portable, but it's not as portable as an iPod Touch which has the same processing power and almost all the specs. I also think that it's not... Uh, big enough to be a home device and you can't sit on the uh, sofa and you know surf the web with a big enough screen. However I do like the colour that they've used. They have uh, gotten rid of the old silver background for the uh, black iPad and they've replaced it with a nice sleek uh, slate look which I really I really find very nice. It's also 53% lighter than the previous iPad coming in at a whopping 308 grams which is absolutely nothing. So the new iPad mini is coming at 269 pounds uh, which is basically 270. I think this is a perfect price and is only 20 pounds more expensive than the iPod. All this being said I want to know your guys opinions so drop your comments in the section below and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching I've been Noah of Adam Charles World. see you next time.